Hello everyone, in this video today we are going to teach you how you can easily create the list message. So if you can see here, since you used Wati before, you will know that you can easily create the template message button under broadcast. And now you can easily create the list message with a menu that can have up to 10 options to your client as well. Let's take a look on how we can create it easily in Wati. So first of all, once you log into your own Wati account, you can go to automation. On the left, we will go to flows in order to create a list message. And if we come here, we can click add flow. So we, uh, as a demo, we are going to create one from scratch. So let's give a name of this flow, list message, and add a new flow. So um, there are a lot of use case of the list message. For example, it can be um, like a menu that we offered just now or like a directory. For example, what um, your client is looking for, you can put um, um, shop location, working hour, um, let's say um, delivery return um, process for example so you can put different options for your client to choose from so in this case um let's make a like a, um, a, a case for um say for the the food one so there's like a food menu the uh, ordering menu um let's say we will start from a um, message so let's say Hi, um, welcome to uh, ABC um, Fast Food. And then you can create a menu, like a list message. So you can easily drag it out and select it here, whether you would like a button message or a list message. Here we will choose the list one. And you will see a lot of different setup here. We double click on this. So we'll have an expanded part here that you can type your own text. So for example, for the header text, um, you can put um, whatever that will be suitable for your, for your um, the header text. So for example, what would you like to order? For example, and the body text, uh, uh, it could be like, uh, please choose from the uh, menu. And then um, the further part, um, later on you will see how it will look like on the phone. And uh, essentially you can put um, by ABC fast food. Right. So after we have typed um, the initial text here, you can start from the um, bottom one. So uh, we will say the menu is like put menu. So that will be like the display of the menu part just now. But remember what we type here, and later on um, uh, we can see it how it will look like on the phone. So uh, apart from that, in the list, um, just now we have shown like the different row, and you can actually have different sections in the list. For example, let's say section one is for food, and for row one is like the option one for for this session. So I could say um, burger, um, fries. So as you can see, uh, uh, since I keep adding the options, it will be showing up here and I don't know, pasta. For example, like um, food like this. And the next session, I can add another one. So as you can see, it will be a different session right here. So the next session could be, um, uh, I don't know, um, like drinks. And the first one that can be um, uh, juice or milk shake. Okay, and if I want another new session, that could be I don't know, dessert and then um, I 
can just like put some options here right so I easily create a menu here already and just bear in mind that for the list message you can only create um, up to 10 options so make sure you design your list right if not um, I suggest you if you have too many items from the list um, like let's say on the food part you already have 10 options uh, if you're like a like really proper um, um, restaurant uh, instead of the example that I'm providing right here so um, I suggest like for food you have one list and then drinks uh, you have another list if um, you have more than 10 options for the client okay so after we have taken all these um, uh, putting all these options here we can save here and we will see how it looks like once we trigger it so now we save this flow as a least message flow and on triggering we will go to automation again to set the keyword linking with this flow so let's add a new keyword action and i'll simply put um this message for our demo keyword save it and you can choose how to um, match to this keyword um, i could just use a fussy matching and for the next step you simply need to go to the flow options and search the flow that we have at just now this message click here make sure it is on the selected material and save the setting clicking too many times okay great so now um, let's go to this option I am going to um, demonstrate how we uh, trigger on this message okay so um, can go back to the flow here and then um, with this we can see um, how it will look like in in, um, in the flow that we set up and also we can compare it um, from the client side what they will see when they click on the um, this message right here I'm already mirroring the phone so uh, if you can see I'm going to type this message to trigger the flow that we have built and they already have this menu popping up right um, ABC fast food okay then click on this Okay, so when we come back to the flow, you will see that on the left, it is the list that we create and on the right, you will see the um, menu that we create. So uh, you will see the header here, it will be shown in the body, in the message part and um, the body text and also the footer will be um, like in um, light gray character. And for the menu, foot menu, it will be shown like this until the client clicking that will show different sessions so for food and drinks and dessert they can choose different ones so let's say if I put um, juice for example and click send here it will be an auto reply and of course I know for following up um, all these options you can choose to link it to a more different um, uh, quick reply on top of this but um, for now like you know it is how you can easily create the menu part within the flow in Wati simply by typing different options from there and if you have any question feel free to let us know i hope you enjoy using this new list message function that will definitely add more variety on your message type and create an easier user experience for your client thank you